fighting you're referring to? Uh, Earl Spence Jr. versus Michael Garcia. How do you see that playing out? Look, Spence is correct in favor of my view. Because Spence is a young, athletic fighter who has skills. It's very tough. You've seen him in fights already. We're like, oh, that's not exactly going his way. Kel Brook was doing some things. And he did not get discouraged. And he can punch. Again, it's a... What's going on guys, it's your boy Boxing Facts and Fiction. I need you to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. I recently seen an interview and I had to play it for you guys and I had to talk about it. It's an interview with Max Kellerman. If you guys don't know who Max Kellerman is, he used to be an HBO analyst, but HBO went out of business. So now Max has a show on ESPN called Max on Boxing, but he still does interview here and there. And he recently did an interview he recently did an interview with ES News and it, the question arise about Earl Spence versus Mikey Garcia. Max Kellerman, he did not hesitate to start to praise the much bigger, much better fighter in my opinion right now, Earl Spence Jr. Um, he said Earl Spence Jr. is a young talent. Um, we've already seen him face adversity against Kell Brook, but we've seen what happened. A reporter asked Max Kellerman, what do Mikey have to do to win the fight against Earl Spence Jr.? He said, Mikey is a real brave guy, man. Very brave. For Mikey to win this fight, he has to prove to us that he can really bang at 147. Two weight classes. He's not punching on these little guys. He's going to be punching on a bigger guy who's never hit the canvas before. Can Mikey Garcia keep a guy like Earl Spence Jr. off him? That's the real question. Can Mikey Garcia do that for 12 rounds? Because we all know he's not knocking out Earl Spence Jr. He couldn't knock out a small guy in Adrian Broner. And we've never seen Earl Spence really, really hurt. He can't knock out Adrian Broner. He couldn't knock out skinny Robert Easter Jr. He couldn't knock out Sergei Lipinus with only 13 fights. He was bloody in that fight, beat up. He won the fight convincingly, but he was bloody, so he looked beat up. So he couldn't he couldn't KO those guys. But somehow these fanboys are telling me Mikey Garcia is gonna KO the much bigger, harder puncher, Earl Spence Jr. I honestly don't know what goes on in these guys' head when they 
try to predict a fight. When they say, I see Mikey Garcia winning this fight. You see Mikey Garcia winning this fight by a miracle. <laughs> Earl Spence will have to be fighting on one leg for Mikey Garcia to win this fight. Earl Spence will have to be fighting with, with cuffs behind his back. He'll have to be fighting with both his arms behind his back for Mikey Garcia to win this fight. There's no way Mike Garcia can win this fight. But at the top level at 147, can he hit hard enough to actually break the guy down? Because Spence seems to me to be the kind of guy where if he's losing the fight, he's going to step on his ass. He seems to have that kind of mentality. So at that point, it's not enough just to continue to box. You have to put something on him that can break him down. And that's what this fight will boil down to. Can Mikey have the power up to 47? A little better than we've seen. It's not that he hasn't done it all, but a little. If the answer is yes, he can win the fight. Hey, Max, we keep up. Keith Carly made his return. We all talk about this. Okay. What do you think you have? What is that? Thurman's name is in the hat. First of all, Thurman's a popular fighter. He connects. He has star power. Secondly, Thurman's a very tough guy. So he's one of these guys. Tim Bradley is kind of like this, although I know he's not the same kind of fighter as Thurman. But Tim Bradley is a tough fighter. That was more than a D-plus because he had something extra in him. I say that's a D-plus, but he's more than that because he's got something in him. Just like, just like um, Kel Brook to me was sort of like the next thing before the, the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters, right? How good could Kel Brook be? And we saw he could get to the place I just said. Thurman to me is that kind of guy. Can Thurman, can the whole of Thurman be more than the sum of his parts? So just because, look, if I, if I told you guys, who do you think wins, Thurman or Spence? Who do you think wins, Thurman or Spence? Spence. 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 Everyone thinks Spence. I think Spence, too. Are we sure? Because Thurman's that kind of cat. You can't, you're not, like, okay, we think that Spence needs it, but I'd like to see it. So, so, just to be clear, when I talk Crawford and Spence and these kind of guys, yes, I believe, I see and believe the same things you guys do, but we all also know. Matt Kellerman made a brilliant point. He said if Mikey Garcia is somehow able to carry his power up to 147 and he's punching harder at 147, then maybe, maybe there's a slight possibility he could beat Earl Spence Jr. We all know that's not going to happen, so we know Mikey Garcia loses by devastating body shots maybe even to the head but Mikey Garcia doesn't make it to the but with that being said Max Kellerman you know how this guy likes to talk too much he starts to talk about uh Keith Thurman he said Keith Thurman in this if we look at Keith Thurman we'll probably call Keith Thurman a B plus fighter but Keith Thurman has that little something extra in him that we have that uh to us where we believe he could be an A fighter because we never know what he's going to give us. We never know what he's going to give us, but we still want to see him fight the best. Like example, Earl Spence versus Keith Thurman. Who would you pick to win the fight? And everybody said Earl Spence Jr. <laughs> but even Max Kellerman said he would pick Earl Spence Jr. But we don't know that for sure. We have to see that fight happen for us to be like, okay, what if Keith Thurman does? What if Keith Thurman does win? What if Keith Thurman beats Earl Spence Jr.? I mean, his last performance, he didn't look all that great, but he had a two years layoff. But what if somehow Keith Thurman is able to pull off the upset and beat a Earl Spence Jr.? I highly doubt that. But Keith Thurman does have that if, though. I can't deny that. Max Kellerman does have a point. Keith Thurman does have that if. That kind of cat. You can't, you're not just like, okay, we think that Spence beats him, but I'd like to see it. So, so, just to be clear, when I talk Crawford and Spence and these kind of guys, yes, I believe, I see and believe the same thing you guys do. But we all also know that there have been enough examples in boxing history where you take a guy for granted, take a guy for granted, it turns out, no, you can't. And, and the funny thing is, a lot of times, like I think of Vernon Forrest, it becomes an exercise versus shot. But when you actually ask people in the press, you think he's going to win? No. 
but he just deserves his shot because it would be an injustice if he didn't get it. But what happened when Forrest got his shot? She won! So it's not enough just to say, hey, Thurman should get to fight one of these top guys. Well, we think he's going to lose. I'm not sure. And, and, and saying he deserves it is more than just an exercise in justice. It's, it's like, we really don't know. I, I felt the same way about Brooks as I feel about Thurman. For different reasons. He's more skillful than Thurman, but wasn't as physically imposing as Thurman, right? But I still thought, Brook to me, is the next thing before you get to the special fighters, right? The athletically different fighters. And I think the same thing about Thurman. Now, Brook proved me right. He was the next thing to a special fighter. What was that? That's why we, we all see the same thing. But did he get knocked out? He's had some tough, close fights, but who are the winner? Who is the winner in those fights? And so, yes, I like Spence against Thurman. I'd like to see it. Well, so I was gonna ask you real quick about Matt Kellerman. There you have it, guys. Matt Kellerman picks Earl Spence to beat Mike Garcia. We all should know that. Earl Spence to beat Keith Thurman. We all should know that. But he doesn't know if Earl Spence beats a Terrence Cruft. I honestly believe Earl Spence loses to Terrence Crawford if that fight happened immediately. But if that fight happened down on the road, I would pick Earl Spence. Max Kellerman knows his boxing, man. This guy can sell sand to an Arab and ice to an Eskimo. Well, snow to an Eskimo. I mean, he knows his boxing. Sometimes he paints stuff a little far-fetched sometimes he gets a little carried away because he's pushing a certain agenda but when he's being honest he keeps it 100 but do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification icon for more videos like this boxing facts over fiction leave the fiction at the door